Well, guys, we're finished with the crab, and uh, now we got our uh, shrimp winches on and our tub, and uh, we're heading over to Sanatini to pick up some new uh, cables, warps, new doors, and a new trial. So uh, we'll have all new uh, shrimp gear this year, so uh, we're going over there to install it. And on the way along, we're going to pick up a goose. And uh, I had some requests before. Uh, I had requests before, you know, if you want to see uh, how I baked them up. So since I'm baking one up and going along, I, I try to make a little video. And one of the fellers here now brought this one on board. It's a beautiful goose, nice and fat. Uh, I never never actually got hunting myself this spring, but uh, luckily one of the fellers on the boat did. And uh, I guess we'll all get to enjoy it. So I guess I'll show you how I cook them up now. Now to make the old fashioned stuffing for the goose, uh, I got some old uh, stale bread here, about two thirds of a loaf. And uh, you just tear off a piece and you just rub it together ever so gently and, and you make your bread crumbs. And any bigger pieces that don't hurt, you just tear apart a little bit with your fingers. That's now that I got the breadcrumbs made there, what I got here, I got a large onion diced up and also some uh, salt pork. And I'm just going to add that, add that, and a nice bit of pepper. I think I'm almost out of pepper. <laughs> Just doing all this with one hand, but and then you just mix it all together. Anyway, guys, this is what it looks like here now. This is uh, old-fashioned stuffing, and all this is old uh, stale bread. Made some breadcrumbs and uh, little chunks of salt pork and onions and a bit of pepper. And this is what we usually use now to stuff geese or eider ducks or anything like that. And uh, believe me, it's really tasty. This is the old fashioned stuffing here. Put that in the, put the belly of the goose here. Next, guys, I'm going to put a bit of salt on it. Uh, a big goose like this will take a nice bit of salt. And a lot of it will just wash out into the gravy anyway, and it'll make a nice bit of gravy on it. And I had to get another container of pepper and bit down the line there especially on that dressing there and this dressing down here they'll crust up really nice here and that's one of the best parts there and then I got some uh, slices of salt pork a couple of pork rinds and that oil will go down over the goose and make a really nice flavor on the goose and when that pork browns up a little bit and falls down the gravy it'll naturally color your gravy too as well and I guess, so that's why I use a nice bit of pork here like that. And then I, over here I got uh, four to five small chunks of salt meat. And that will render out and that will really enhance the flavor of your gravy. So so anyway, I'm just going to put some aluminum foil or something over the top of it and uh, put it right in the oven. Start off, I just got the uh, salt beef and uh, peas pudding in. Boys, when we were in, uh, we had four tubs, butter tubs of uh, turnip tops uh, greens give us, and I'm gonna cook them in a separate boiler. And with that, I got four large chunks of pork, and I got them split there in a few places. So I'm gonna put those four pieces of pork in a boiler, in a separate boiler, and I'm gonna put the greens in also. So uh, thanks, Lloyd, for that. A little bit of. And these were frozen with the hot water there. So I got some just some salt pork, and I'll put the, the turned off greens right in with that. And uh, the more that the salt pork cooks, the better they will be.
starting to get a little knotty go out here. The, the wind picked up, but I had to go up and get another uh, loaf of stale bread. Uh, the fellow that brought uh, the goose on board uh, loves uh, bread pudding, so I've got to make sure I make some nice, nice big bread pudding for him. Just trim a piece off the top there again. Steam set off the fire alarm. <laughs> Good system check. Oh yeah, roasted up real nice. Well now, he looks really good. Roasted up really nice, and just look at that dressing right there. This, that's the bomb right there. Oh man, delicious! Hey okay, guys, I got and join it up here now, and just uh, a little bit of that uh, skin there. Unbelievable flavor. Guys, the goose is cut up and ready to go. And over here we got uh, some turn tops greens there cooked in salt pork. We got salt meat uh, with cabbage, turnip, carrots, potatoes, uh, peas pudding, and a bread pudding. And uh, all I got to do now is make the gravy and uh, we're ready to dig into this. Excellent, excellent day.